Welcome to United Gamers Authority. As you can see, I'm standing at the front of my frontier fortress. Let me show you around. So, if you've been following the series, you've already seen the episode of me choosing the location, choosing the build type, and building all this out, and then taking it all down and rebuilding it, and also building that tower. If you haven't seen us build that tower, it'll be linked here, in the upper right -hand corner. Now, the rest of the build video will be coming. This one is coming out to showcase it and to show you around. The bonus video will be coming out today as well, probably an hour or two or three after this one, because there are many, many hours. I have nearly six hours of recording for this build, and it's not 100% done. I still need to go through and decorate everything, but that's going to be a little bit complicated because I'm also going to be using Pippi to help me with some of it. So I wanted a, a dusk view, that's why it's a little dark, but I want to show you guys around and get, give you the idea of why it's like this. So let's get some light on the subject. You guys have seen me do this before. Wait for it to get light, and then freeze it so that it does not change. And of course, it's overcast. So out here, we are going to we are making plans to have a stables out here for the riding animals and the animals we take out for harvesting. We do have a wheel of pain over there, and there's one gate there, one up the hill that we'll see, and one over there. Yes, I do have four animal pens. Those are part of a video later. Guess you'll have to stick around and see when that video comes out. So in here, the longhouse, we did a few changes um, over time. That's why it took so long is because initially we had all the temples up top here, but that's going to change. So down here is going to be our massive crafting area. We have a elevator here to get up top and up top I'm thinking of making it a uh, kind of a tavern with seating outside that's why we have some dancers here and there and maybe some uh storage for some things downstairs, but I think it's all going to be more of a tavern style. We've got some guys standing out here that were up on the hill, and if you notice, the hill is now completely covered by the keep. We'll get the keep in a minute. I want to show you some other things first. So out here we have our little campsite we have set up. All this stuff's going to be moving. I'm going to be spreading the guards out. And all the guards that are dressed in this are for another video. A thrall video. I'll get to that later. There's another entrance to the keep right there. Here's all the boxes we had set up of all of our stuff. We still have a lot of organizing to do um, and decorations to do, but we'll get there. So, I decided to go ahead and put all of our altars up here. Initially, you'll see in the in the build video, if you go watch it, I had this built out up to right here first. And then I placed this guy down and realized it is nowhere near big enough. And then I realized that each one of these is just about a 4x4 four four square block. And they all fit inside except for this guy this guy's probably a four by five even this one this giant one from zath can go along here inside 
And what happened to... Okay, this... This is what irritates me. I had... I had a temple right here. I had Emir. Emir was right here, and now it's gone. I don't know what happened to it. Oh, good grief. Anyway, I will get that back up. It just messes up my beams of light. Okay. Then we go up here, and we'll get a view of the whole territory. There's a tower there, and a tower over there. This one is the one that towers over everything. It's it's not the tallest tower. I think that one over there is. But, because it's sitting up on top of the mountain, it is the tallest point at the base. So, very cool looking down over everything. Oh, and I need to put uh, these fences along here. But, for the most part, it's done. I, I really want to just get moving on some other things. Here's this one. Oh, and we decided to uh, put these stable lattices on here because you can climb on them. And they don't hurt. When they're inside, that makes sense. It it was so much fun building this this keep. It, it was it was a blast. I, I I really enjoyed it. I was thinking of raising this wall up to be even with the top of that gate all the way around until you get almost to this bridge, and then actually shift it to where you go from the top of the tower down to the bridge rather than going from the wall up to the bridge. So I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. That might be a thing. Just leveling it all off all the way around. Uh, probably would go down somewhere along in here. So it could stay even with the top of that gate. But this side has a little opening here. I had to do a lot of finagling. And it, 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 you'll see in the video. Uh, let me kind of point at it. You'll see in the video I do a little dance right over there and it's because i built this up go all the way across it's not well not meeting up and then i start building from this side and go this way and i finally get it to connect and actually seal up all the way around and i do a little dance and cheer and stuff it's, it's kind of funny but all the build is not there's no audio to it uh, I'm just going to have it sped up and with music because six hours is a lot of time and I'm going to be speeding it up like four times with music. But with how I do things, you should be able to get a pretty good idea on how I built it. This one was kind of interesting. I honestly had no idea how I was going to do this. I knew that I wanted the the crafting area to come in right into the kitchen area so we're gonna have this side probably all kitchen and this side maybe storage or maybe we'll kind of split it up have um, maybe kitchen over here maybe we'll put some alchemy over here I don't know but we will organize it somehow and this is the first time I've ever had an inclination to do a double tower size tower what do I mean by that if you notice the the floor plan here this is essentially the beginning to here the beginning of the normal towers that you would see it has the wedges in the middle with singles outside well come in here it's a different story this is a double row all the way to the center and this is a double center so you can actually have a evenly spaced tower. And thinking back on it, I didn't think it was possible. I actually figured this out by accident in, in the build. So we've got 
two doors coming in there, two in there, two in there, and then we've got all this around here. This is going to be... I don't know. It's, um... I still haven't figured out what I'm going to do here. But, we go up, stop, up top, and I... I hate dealing with stairs because they're so finicky and they take up some of the the floor space, more of the floor space than these, and I feel like it just works better with these. So let me get that one bit back down. And we wanted to have an kind of an opening here. It was kind of cool. That was uh Phantom's idea, and he helped me so much. I mean that it I wouldn't have been able to get this done in time because of the servers going down. I, I would have had no time. I, I would not have been, been able to have a, a video out today. So you have all this space that we're going to be doing all kinds of stuff with. And I'll be every so often I'll do a video of showing what we've decorated. And I'm going to that one come down and go up on this one. And then we get into the more residential side of things. This floor has two rooms. You would think it's four, but it's not. Each room is double doored. There's plenty of room for somebody to come in here and decorate and live. And this one's the same thing. And all these walls and the pillars and everything, it just adds to the stability of it. I mean, it, it was so much easier having a double-sized tower. It was weird. Okay, that's still making noise. Stop making noise. Thank you. This is the next floor up. Again, two rooms. Nice, good size. Oh, that's where that went. Yeah, sometimes when you're building stuff, you'll place something like, where did that go? And then you find it in weird places like that. And then up to the next floor is stairs, because this is essentially kind of sort of a dead end. So it's open here for guards to come up and do their patrols out on the balcony. Now we do have one down on the level below. I just didn't show it. Phantom added this one in here. Pretty cool. He added the he poked it out here. You can run all the way around. Now, that roof down there on the kitchen area, I I have no idea how we did it. We were just starting to build, and I guess with our knowledge of the pieces and everything, everything just kind of comes together really nicely. And you'll see me do, do a fly around uh, on the build video that for a little bit, because I'm just in awe over this roof on how cool it looks. So, in here, yes, there's more above us. In here, this is one bedroom that has its own access to the top. This is another bedroom that has its own access to the top. And I'm thinking about taking this bedroom for myself. I think it's cool. Now, if you'll notice, these are different and the way those are different is I don't have enough stuff on me I'll show you how I did this in a minute and the only reason that is possible is because of less building placement restrictions it allows a lot of different ways of building and I'll show you how you can make something similar to that if you do not have the mod it's relatively simple so yes these pass through but if you're allowing somebody to live in your keep, you should trust them, I would think. And if you don't want this, then you, what you could do is you could put a wall here and do these um, the slanted pieces like I did right here and right there. 
put them up in the middle and then have doors at the top, one for each side. I thought about doing that, but I didn't feel like I needed to. And then you have the top with three bonfires. And I have no wood for them, so we will light them later. And then you have the top. So, really quick, I'm going to go ahead and uh, make this quicker. I'm going to go into fly mode. And slow it down a little bit. Kind of give everybody a bird's eye view of what this looks like. I love this fortress. This, this this fortress is probably my favorite build I've ever done. It's big. It's menacing. It has multiple towers. And not everybody has to live in the keep. If you and a couple of close friends live, live in the keep and then you have some more people join you, each one of these towers has like two or three floors that are useful. But I would suggest, you know, if it's a player person, a player character... Have them live on the top of the towers. There's plenty of room in there. Just as a reminder, I'll go into this one and show you the top of the, these towers. There's plenty of room to live up here. There's actually more room in the in the tops of these towers than there are in each one of the bedrooms on the keep. You could also split those up into a couple of different rooms too. Alright, so let's go grab some materials and I will show you how you can... How I did those windows and how you can do something if you don't have the mod. So let me go back to walk and grab my stuff. And if you're wondering how I'm still moving, it's expertise beast of Bruno. You can move normal. So how would you do this? you would it's it's pretty much any of them but i'll show you the nemedian because that's what i use i use the nemedian door and with less building placement restrictions it allows you to do that now if you do not have less building placement restrictions i like this because it's a bigger window they actually have a window oh that's the wrong direction they actually have a window that is similar to this But it's all built out. I'm not a huge fan of them. Don't know why. I think I like more of the stone look. But I also like the bigger window here. So that's how that's done. That is the key. Little hint. Rock nose. Yeah, rock nose are awesome. Oh, and I might change that wall out to look like this one. Because I did this with the frontier fences and doorways. So you can shoot through them. I've got Sumerian Berserkers. Now, one thing I am going to have to do is I'm going to have to do some serious thrall taking because I need archers probably every five blocks along the entire wall all the way around. Not that it matters, because once a, once the enemy gets up against the wall, I don't think the archers can even shoot at them. Because, I mean, even if you as a player, you can't shoot straight down. You'd have to actually get up on the fence and then shoot down at them. And even then, you might hit them. And then I already showed my... my fish pond out there. I have not... I still have not filled those up. So that's it. That is my frontier fortress. If you want to see how it's built, keep an eye out for the build video later today.
Thank you all for coming. Really do appreciate it. If you found anything useful, hit that like button. I'll see you all in the next video. Later. You didn't think I forgot, did you? This is what it looks like at night. There's the bonfires lit atop of the keep. And later on, we will have more lights within the towers, within the tavern, longhouse, crafting building, and all over. That. Frontier Fortress.